The report has not been made public. What's been made public is the Attorney General's summary of the Mueller report. And from there, we conclude that there was no collusion, as said in the report, and that the president cannot be exonerated either when it comes to obstruction of justice. But the critical point in all of this is that we have not seen the report. The news broke, everyone was talking about it 24 seven. And the message, there's only really one message that's breaking through to regular Americans, not us news junkies or political junkies, but to everyday Americans, the headlines are no collusion. And that's all they're seeing. There was no collusion with Russia, the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Donald Trump will use the findings of this report, the ones that he likes, I should highlight, to go to his base and say, look, they came after me. He will play the victim, which I personally don't think is a very good role for him. And, the, and as far as the building up off of his base, I am not a Russian asset is not a great campaign slogan for everybody else. For now, yes, he's fully vindicated. But what he's not fully vindicated of are the other investigations, whether it be in the Southern District of the Attorney General's office or Washington, D.C. There's a lot of investigations still going on, never mind the, the House uh, oversight. Donald Trump has spent so much time tearing down the FBI and other pillars of our democracy, including the media. And I think that people need to see the report to see it was done honestly and with integrity, which I believe it was because Robert Mueller oversaw it. But they need to have faith in the system. And if it did exonerate Donald Trump, then they should see that as well. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.